baby. <laughs> Good morning, everybody, or uh, it's uh, actually afternoon right now. Um, welcome to Macho the Rottweiler. Hi, baby. Are you hungry? You want a snack? Just going to give him a little scoop of food. I feed him now about between five and seven times a day. This is what I feed him. Um, it's about a it's about a cup to a cup and a half of food, and I feed him the um, the blue buffalo. There you go, baby. Good boy. He's a good dog. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Good boy. So I'm gonna let him eat while I we talk about um, tail docking. There's a lot of controversial about the tail docking in Rottweilers and, and just any other uh, cosmetic procedure like, like um, you know, ear cropping and stuff like that. So here's the deal. I have gotten so much hate about the mutilation of my do of Macho's mutilated tail. So much hate, you know, just people just don't understand. And, and a lot of people, I have a lot of subscribers from around the world. So in a lot of countries and around the world, it's illegal and to dock, dock, and dock tails or do ear cropping or any type of cosmetic procedure like that. Um, it's illegal, but it is not in, in America. It is still um, acceptable in America, but like I said, there's a lot of controversial about the tail docking and does it cause pain and blah, 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 blah. One thing I want to say, say right now, I did not dock Macho's tail. I did not request to dock his tail. I like the way it looks, yes. But if I had a choice, I would say keep the tail on my dog because it's not necessary nowadays. Back in the day when, when the dogs were used for cattle and herding and pulling carts, they docked them to keep them from, you know, getting pinched in the wheels and, and whatnot. But that was back in the day. We don't do that anymore. Um, so I, I just want to know... Um, what your guys' thoughts are on docking tails. I mean, because like I said, I've gotten a lot of hate about it. And people think that I... People... Macho. People think that I did it. And I did not. Again, I, I can't stress that enough. I cannot make that clear enough that I did not dock Macho's tail, you guys. Okay? Like I said, if I had a choice, I would have wanted to kill, I would have wanted his tail. I do like the way it looks, but that's no reason to dock a tail, okay? So I just want to get that straight because, oh my God, I can't believe how many people that I've had to block, you know, because of, because of his tail being docked, you know? So, um, what's your guys' opinions on it? What, how do you feel about it? Um... I'm just curious. Most of you, I think, are going to be against it. Some, Like I said, some people like it. Some people don't. Um, the judges, I was reading up on it. And through um, AKC, if you're going to show your dog, the judges prefer dog tail. But if I knew what I was doing, I would love to show Macho. He's papered. I've got, I've got him registered. I have papers and... And I, I would love to show him, but I don't know anything about showing dogs. And so um, it's overwhelming for me. Okay, I'm going to bring him in. I don't like him barking out there. Come on. Nobody wants to hear that. Did you get your... Is that yours? Or is that Devin's? That's your ball now, huh? Yep. So that's the story on Macho's little nub there. He had his, t I met Macho, I first learned of Macho um, when I was looking, f when I was first looking for a Rottweiler puppy, um, I googled, you know, 
Rottweiler puppies in my area. And by the time I learned of, by the time I found him on um, the internet, he was 10 days old. And um, that's the first time I met him when he was 10 days old. And his tail was already docked. They docked, they docked their tails anywhere between two to five days. And so, like I said, his tail was already docked. Um, breeder said that he docked him at two days old. I had nothing to do with it, you guys. Nothing to do with it. I'm not going to not purchase this dog because his tail's docked. You know, I fell in love with him this moment I met my eyes laid, my eyes laid on his closed eyes. His eyes weren't even open yet when I met him at 10 days old. So, um, that's the story of this little, little cute little butt right here. Yeah, yeah, my baby. Yes, you good boy. You got eye boogers. Oops, not want to get them. Yeah, you good boy. So let me go. Let me know what you guys' thoughts on that. And um, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Much of the Rottweiler. He also has a Facebook page. I always forget to tell you guys. It's at Macho the Rottweiler on Facebook. Um, if you guys want to follow him there. Um, yeah, and that's it. So thanks for watching, you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Say bye, Macho.